Almost three years after the Syrian war broke out, there is no sign of it ending. While fighting continues, millions of civilians caught in the crossfire have been internally displaced or have taken refuge in neighboring countries. Although some say a recent meeting in Geneva between the warring factions ended with little progress, UN mediator Lagdar Brahimi said it laid a foundation for talks scheduled for February 10th. Progress is very slow indeed, but the sides have engaged in an acceptable manner. But while the peace talks were taking place in Geneva, the UN Under Secretary General Jeffrey Feltman was discouraged. And we're sobered by the reality that probably not a single Syrian civilian was saved this week through the talks in Geneva. Feltman says he will start believing in these talks once they have an impact on the suffering. Unfortunately, I must candidly acknowledge that 10 days after Montreux, we're not yet there. The U.S. State Department estimates that more than 9 million people are in need of assistance in Syria, with more than 6 million internally displaced and about 2.5 million refugees in Egypt, Lebanon, Iraq, Jordan and Turkey. USAID Administrator Rajiv Shah just returned from Lebanon and Jordan. In Lebanon, where I just recently visited, one out of every five people is from Syria. In Jordan, the influx has been so significant, it's as if the entire population of Canada moved into the United States over the last 18 months. He says the scale of this crisis is unmatched. And while the United States has led the world in providing nearly $3 billion in humanitarian and developmental assistance, it is time for the war to stop. All the programs and humanitarian efforts in the world are not going to change the dynamic. You're going to need some kind of a political settlement. The problem of access also presents a huge challenge for humanitarian workers. Without access, money means nothing. The EU Commission's special advisor, Enko Gaspardinov, says it is frustrating to sit on trucks full of food and medicine and not be able to deliver it. He also says the need to educate Syrian children living in camps is as important as trying to feed them. In Washington, Mariama Diallo, VOA News.